I'm going to show you another simple way of doing a blog post layout. You can see the image over there. It, it's really, really basic, but I want to just get across how simple and easy it is to do. Let's do it now. Let's start with the simple bit. Let's go and grab a loop grid like this um, and just drop that in there. And what we're now going to do is create a template. By the way, before you do that, it's a good idea to decide on how big your container and layout is going to be, especially when you're working with the loop grid. So in this scenario, I've, uh, I've got some padding. Don't worry about that. But it's mainly 1000 um, pixels in width, just so I have a, a decent layout. Now we're going to go over to our loop grid and we're going to click create template, go and hit save. You're always going to get that message. First thing we're going to do is drop in the featured image. Now you will notice there is a bit of a gap going around there. I'm going to click on the container and I'm just going to zero that all out. So we just don't have any gap there whatsoever. Um, you can size this now. I mean, I would set it to be full resolution, but you can set the width and the height of this however you want. I'm just going to keep this simple for now and we're just going to drop a featured image in. Now let's go and add in some further content. I'm going to go and grab in the post title and put that at the top there. Now I am going to add a date as well. Now you might go in for the post uh, info here and then you're going to get rid of loads of these contents and just show the date. I have found problems with using that. So rather than using that, I'm going to get rid of it and instead I'm going to go and grab in a text editor instead like that. You could use a heading as well, to be honest. I'm just being a bit pedantic here. I'm going to get rid of the content, click the dynamic tag, and I'm going to pick the post dates like that. And the post date will now appear. I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm now going to go over to the title. Um, by the way, though, in the container, I have set this to be uh, five. So this is how it would look normally. And I've gone and adjusted it so we only have five pixel spacing. Let's go back to the post title, which is automatically picking up the post title. We go to style and I'm going to set the typography of this to be Antonio like that. You would normally use pixel. I'm just going to put it as a 25, give this a weight of about uh, 600 and we'll give it a letter spacing of one as well. So if you just visualize how that's looking, it's looking pretty clean and neat. But here's the thing you must pay a lot of attention to. When this is all created, you can click where you want. It's not going to go to the post because we don't have a button. So here's what you need to do. You need to go to the container. OK, where everything sits within and we're still within the loop grid. Uh, when you're in container, ignore all the layout container options. Go down to additional options. Change the HTML tag for this to be a link or a link, if that's what you want to call it, a link. <laughs> click dynamic tags and then go and click post URL. Now, it does not matter where you click. Anywhere on there is going to go to the post URL. Let's now hit update. Well, will you look at that? a really simple, clean way of presenting blog posts. And look, if I, it doesn't matter where, look, I could click up here. It's going to take me, by the way, I don't have a single post template set yet, so ignore that. But look, it doesn't matter where you click. You click on the image, it's going to take you to the post. Really simple and really easy. You know, you don't have to make it super, super busy. And if you want to go for like a different style look, and by the way, don't forget, all right, this is just queries, okay? The loop grid. So if you feel like the gap's not big enough and you want to make it bigger, fine, go and go with a bigger gap. Let's just go with 60, 60 like that. Let's hit update. This will now refresh itself. There you go. You still have a really nice, clean look in terms of your layout. And it's being a bit different. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.